What's going on, you guys, man? Good morning. Today is Wednesday, July the 17th, 2024. My wife is at the house sleep right now. I'm coming to the gym a little bit late. It's 8.45 a.m. I not so long ago got my daughter on the bus because she's going to summer school. Her last day of summer school is tomorrow. So I got to make sure tomorrow we do a podcast. Me and my wife going to do a podcast together. So check it out. I will be trading my wife's prop firm challenge. She's doing a 50K challenge. And the reason I'm going to be doing this challenge is because she slept. The last time I actually traded my wife's challenge was like years ago. And I blew it. Like she was working and I was going through so much thing. That's when I had the cast on my hand. My fiance was in challenge, a 5K challenge. And guess what I ended up doing then? My fiance went to work. I was going on the market. I was trading gold. I don't trade gold. I ended up blowing my fiance's challenge. Trading oil, trading gold, trade, and she trades gold in AU. Bro, I feel her challenge trading oil. And, bro, like, it was the most craziest shit. And though, and, and though throughout all that, bro, I actually cried, bro. Like, this is actually the first time I actually cried because of Forex. And I've been in this shit gonna be three years in August. I cried for the first time, bro. I cried for the first time. Uh, I blew her fucking account, bro, in. That's the first time I actually cried because of trading. But yeah, I'm gonna get me a quick workout in really quick. And hopefully we'll be able to make it back to the house before 9.30 because I just wanna make sure when I get back, she's asleep. Um, so if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, I really appreciate it. And if you guys need a training community, click the link in the bottom of the description. My Discord is 100% free. That being said, I'm gonna get here to work out and I'm gonna see you guys later. Yidi. Hey, so real quick, if you guys would like for any type of content you guys would like for us to do, please feel free to go ahead and put it down below in the bottom of the description, or you can just join my Discord. I have this section that says questions. Just go ahead and put in that questions area because I make sure I do read everything. So if you guys have any type of video ideas, bro, feel free to let me know. Me and my wife will be doing a podcast tomorrow, but we'll be uploading it on YouTube maybe Friday or even Saturday. So I'm not sure, but we got to make sure we... we um. We uh, record this podcast tomorrow. Bro, I think it's going to be lit. I'm going to go ahead and upload it up on her YouTube channel. So if you guys have not subscribed to my wife, her link to her YouTube channel is in the bottom of this description. Feel free to tap in and subscribe to my wife's YouTube channel. Uh, just be updated on what's going on on her end when it comes to trading. So I think we're almost done here. I'll give me a few more sets in because uh, tomorrow, I know tomorrow going to be a, probably a really light day. I think I might, go, so I might come to the gym early in the morning. So you don't know, man. You don't know. All right, you guys, we got us a decent workout in. I wanted to stay outside for a moment to just let you guys know my game plan. So yesterday, my wife took a nice trade on NAS 100 sales off of resistance, and also it was a five minute, 15 minute supply order block. So today, I want to be able to catch a, a two to one, three to one, or four to one. My goal is to be able to risk $500. Um, damn. Yeah, all right, so my goal is to be able to risk $500. I'm not a place to trade until 9.30. I can't place no trade before 9.30. It has to be 9.30 or later for me to catch a trade entry. Hopefully I'll be able to catch a nice supplier demand of US 30 or NAS 100 or even AUD USD or gold because these are the main pairs that I do trade. Every now and then I will trade oil and every blue moon I may trade, uh, and every blue moon I may trade GBP USD. But let's go to the charts and hopefully be able to see something. I will be whispering so hopefully you guys will be able to hear me and if not, I'll just have to explain everything after I'm done recording. All right, so that being said, let's go inside and let's see if we'll be able to see a trade set up. Come on.
five thirty one. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch a nice trade set up. There is nothing. If you guys are looking for a trading community, my Discord is 100% free. Feel free to tap in. The link is in the bottom of my description. Here we had a burger structure. Price left imbalance. Prices coming up from this imbalance. Hopefully get a nice weak rejection from the zone. Price over inside. If I get a nice weak rejection, I will go ahead and take the shorts. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take the short right here. Got in a little bit late. I'm gonna move the stop loss top of this wick. Catch a three to one. Let's see what happens. Nice, we're almost up 2% on this account. We're up 2%, it was just up 2%. Take us another screenshot, send it a Discord. If you guys like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel. I will be having more content coming out. Shh, got my wife behind me, she's knocked out. Mind you, we're trading her 50k account and she's completely unaware. So if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any video requests, put it in the bottom of the description. Let's get it. Wow. This shit was froze the whole time. So I know some of you guys may be a little bit confused on exactly what's going on with the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys every single thing. So when I live stream or when I trade and I record my sessions, I use OBS. OBS is a iOS. I'm not sure if Microsoft used this, but it's an Apple software that you install to be able to connect your camera, several cameras, several microphones. You can go from screen, a capture card. Most streamers use this with Twitch, YouTube, whatever. But it's a software that you use. I have my camera at my lower thirds on the left side. So what I think happened was when I tried to screenshot my chart on TradingView uh, by pressing the button, as soon as I pressed that button, and that 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 icon came up the screen froze like my 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 face the camera was live everything was working perfectly but if you realize the floating profits on the charts and everything everything completely froze i did not realize that because when i'm on obs i'm on actually live i'm on the actual fucking internet i'm on google and i'm i'm talking to you guys and i didn't realize nothing happened to after the whole recording was over and i'm like damn i did all this recording for nothing that kind of fucked up my psychology a little bit mind you i told myself in the beginning of this youtube video before i even started fucking trading uh i told myself i'm gonna take a two to one three to one or for the one and be done i risked 500 dollars. i was up almost like 1500 i ended up closing that trade then i seen a buy opportunity um bro let me tell you something when i seen the buy opportunity i already realized my psychology was kind of getting off a little bit i have not had my psychology to throw me off in a moment but 
my psychology threw me off a little bit and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what happened with that buy opportunity that i seen on nas 100 all right so real quick um i got into this buy on nas 100 because this is a one hour demand order block and we had a nice wick rejection from that zone so when i go to a five minute time frame right i realized that in this area um price broke structure right here let me go ahead and draw this out for you price broke structure right here all right so this high was knocked off because of this high all right so i marked up this demand order block and i'm like you know what if we get a candle break i'm going to go ahead and get in so i got into this trade my take profit is here but i have an alarm set here because this is a five minute supply order block where price has potential and can possibly sell and continue to come down from. So I just took in a short term buy opportunity. This is a very risky trade because we are in a very strong downtrend. I caught a nice sell earlier, um, took it down, made quite a bit. Um, as you guys can see, the balance is right here. I made quite a bit. I'm currently floating right now. So hopefully, um, this trade continues to rally. So I lost everything that I made for the day. Lost everything that I made for the day. And that's the end of the video.